Hi everybody, this is MJ from my paper journey. Um, happy Mother's Day to all of you, and I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day. And for those that are not mothers, well, I hope you also had a wonderful day. And thank you for stopping by. And like I promised, um, I'm gonna do a process video on how I made uh, my um, fold out folded pockets or fold out pockets on my previous video so I just want to show you how I made this and remember I am not great at explaining things so um, I already have some I'm gonna do the one with the book pages and Hi Frankie, happy Mother's Day. Hi Lynn, Je uh, Jenny and Elena. Hi. Hi Linda in San Antonio. Um, Linda's one of my subbies. And I just found out she lives in San Antonio where my sister lives. And that's where I went to go visit uh, in January. Um, okay, I just wanna uh, say what we need. We need one cutout sheet of anything. Okay, I'm just going to be using uh, book pages today. Uh, three and three quarter width by uh, six inches. And then we're going to score half an inch. On the top. And then we're going to need another sheet. Uh, three and three quarters by five and a half. Which is the, uh, the center part of the... Uh, of the fold out booklet and then we need one five at five and a half inches and uh, a regular size sheet eight and a half by eleven and that's for the um, that's if you want to add uh, you know uh, journaling pages so we just need one uh, copy one one copy of paper uh, sheet and this one we're going to score half an inch and at three inch. Okay, so these are the measurements and I'll go through it um, right now. Okay. And then this is the book that I've been using. Getting the uh, book pages and I just wanted to show you some of these uh, old pictures from old uh, movie stars. This was Gloria Swanson. I'm not familiar with her. Clara Bow and Flaming Youth. Oh, a symbol of Flaming Youth. This is, oh, it doesn't say who it is. I'm uh, Carol Lombard. I am familiar with her. And I am familiar with Rosalind Russell. This is, I'm not sure who Dorothy is. And this one is Dietrich, but Dietrich. And this I know, Sophia Loren and Cary Grant. Oh, I just used to think he's so handsome. Okay, enough of that. And get my paper cutter. Sorry, you have to reach over. My doggies are crying because they want to be here with me. So we need uh, three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by six inches. And that'll be for for this on top. Six inches, this is five and a half, but we need an additional half an inch for the for this, to fold this in so we can glue that on. So, six inches right there. Oops, sorry. Just that I have the tripod uh, right next to me.
keeping all the scraps in one place. And then we need another one. I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Another one, three and three quarters by five and a half. doggies three and three quarters trim this off well yeah trim this off and this one will be five and a half sorry guys these doggies okay so that's so that's three and three quarters by five and a half. Now we need two five by five and a half. So I'm gonna get two of them together. Trim this off. This one has to be five. Oops. Get to get another book, another page. I do this all the time. this because I kind of like the top uh, blank by five and a half okay and then of course we need um, a reg uh, a regular uh, copy paper the eight and a half by eleven Might as well cut that too. Ooh, this is nice and dark. So the width of the inside is three and three quarters. So I want to make them just a tad less than three and three quarters. So it'd be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it'd be eleven sixteenth. Sorry guys, I had to pause it for a bit because my dogs were getting too loud and my son let them out so they can stop whining. So I already cut one strip at not at three and three quarters, but three and eleven sixteenth. Just a little bit shy, just a sixteenth on three and three quarters. So that way, um, just to have a little bit of space so when the flaps fold over. Okay. 
So now I'm going to switch my cutting blade to my scoring blade. Put this one away. I do have another scoreboard, but I put it away and like usual, I don't know where I put it at. Okay, so I'm using the full length of the five and a half of, you know, 11 inches so I'm gonna score it at five and a half three quarters by six inch you're going to score on the top half an inch okay so that the half inch is what we're going to glue on to the uh, three and three quarters by five and a half and fold that in now the other two sheets the five by five and a half you're going to score on one side on the left, on the right side, because that's going to be on your left. You're going to score on the right side for the left side, half an inch, and then at um, three inches. Okay, and on the other one, I guess it doesn't matter because I can just turn it around. No, it does, because I... Oh, well, it's not going to be the same. Oh, yeah, here. Half an inch. This is for the right side. And then at three inches. And I'll show you what I just did right now. This is for the right side, the fold, and then this is for the left side. So that's why I score the one that goes on the right on the left side and the paper that goes on the left on the right side. All I did was, you know, flip over the paper, okay? And that's all the scoring we're going to do. Need to switch this to my blade again. Okay. And I'm gonna put these together like this. And I'm gonna mark From the score line, the very first score line, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, I'm getting confused here. From the score line here, half an inch, from there, and then on on the right side oh yeah i did two and a half from the bottom and you're gonna mark a two and a half here okay so then what we're going to do from the half an inch, here's the score line. The half inch score line, another half inch, I marked it. So then from there to here, we're going to cut to give the, uh, the angle on the uh, fold out pockets. 
and I want to cut them together. So then what I do, then I don't know, let me get it closer so you can see. Sorry, there's a shadow there. Okay, so half inch here. I'm gonna put it on the the cutting line and then the two and a half where I mark right there. There and here. Okay. I wanna keep them even. Okay, here and Approximately doesn't have to be super exact. And then discard this. So then this is the fold. And this is the fold. Let me see, is that how I did it? Okay. Okay. So now I need my glue. So this is the inside and this is the little flap that goes over. But I like to go like this to kind of line it up. And then I fold this over. So this is my back part, like this. So now we have this, okay? You following me so far? And then I'll put some glue. For the um, for the left side. Sorry about that again, guys. What, Papa? What's the matter? Come here. Stay right there, okay? Sorry guys, my babies. Oops. You too, Papa? Come here. Come here, Mando. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And for the pockets, we're going to need, which I totally forgot about the pockets. Okay. going to be two, four, six, one, and seven sixteen. And for the inner pocket is going to be one, two, and and three sixteenth. Okay? It's not quite it's not going to be quite touching the uh, the fold because we want the the little pocket paper to lay um, right in front of the uh, the fold. Okay, so I for completely forgot about the pockets. And I think they're about. One and three quarters, and that one's two inches. Okay. But you can make them whatever size you want. So I need the 
height is one and three quarters. And the other collar pockets are two inches. The height of the small pockets is one and, and three quarters, and the uh, the taller pocket are two inches. And the width on the on the first one is two inches. Okay, this is the small one. The the height one and one and three quarters height by two inches. That's for the small pocket. And for the the two inch in height is going to be not quite two and a half in width. Like one sixteenth of it. So it'll be two, four, six, seven, Sixteenth of an uh, of an inch. Oh my goodness! What did I do? Can I use it? Yeah. Okay. Set these aside. Now, um, before I glue these on. Okay, now is the time um, to distress them. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. My boys each gave me a, a gift card to Amazon. And while that we were talking, I was on my phone, and I already had stuff set aside for later. Well, needless to say, I spent my Mother's Day gift cards already. And then my oldest son also uh, ordered food, me uh, Mexican food is what we ate for lunch. Now, um, because this is going to be um, glued into a journal page, I didn't make it a two. Um, I usually, when I make my projects as a standalone, I glue um, two book pages, unless it's a thick page, uh, paper uh, kind of book. But because it's going to be inside a journal, um, glued onto a journal page so that it doesn't take a whole lot of bulk. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't get too bulky. I only use a one page, but if you're using scrapbook paper, you know, it's fine. Or any kind of paper. Well, like on this one, I just use coffee stain uh, copy paper. Because once you add on your um, other embellishments, other papers on it or lace, it reinforces the edges. I'm just, um, just lightly doing the edges, not so much. I don't want it too too dark um, if you like the grunginess and you want it really dark you can certainly do so So sometimes I do make things a little grungier okay so now I'm gonna glue down my pages And 
And I always hold the side that I don't want glued so that I don't accidentally put glue on it because I'm very absent-minded. As you saw earlier, I forgot about cutting the, pa uh, the pages and then also um, about the pockets. And then when I'm cutting the paper for this, I just got carried away and started cutting three and three quarters again when I needed a, a five inch. Okay, it's not quite on the fold, so it'll fold. And this is a small page. It's gonna go here. Oops, I think it's a little too big. Is it? Sure is. So I cut this at two inches, so cut it at um, two, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Cut it at fifteen sixteenth. One and a half by one and fifteen sixteenth. Just a, a slither. That's all you need. And I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate this, so hope you guys can bear with me because I'm very indecisive. That's probably why some of the reason I don't really do journals, or not journals, but you know, little process videos or how to want to decorate because I tend to change my mind a lot. This is what we have so far. Okay. okay, so we have a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket here. Now on this, um, on one of these, I think it was this one. Oh, I made a pocket up here. And I put a belly band here. And, and on this other one, I just put this, as, I just glued that on for uh, embellishment. And here I did a tuck spot. Okay. This belongs here. Took it out of that. So, <clears throat> what do I want? This is what I've been that I printed and I've been that I fussy cut out. We'll stick with the sewing theme. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. This is 
sewing machine. I want to go with the, the blue. Sorry, I got off camera there. Couldn't find. But this is a little too wide. So I think I'm going to cut this like that. Okay, I still don't know what I want, but I kind of like blue. I think I want to go with something blue. Lori, these cards are from Etsy shop called, oh my goodness, I had it, uh, Souvenir Prints. Ah, I thought I wasn't going to forget. I mean, remember, Souvenir Prints is the name of the Etsy shop that I bought these um, journaling cards. All the other decorations that I showed was from Artie Mays, but these here are... are embellishment I mean ephemera that I created on on the uh, print master software I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not I like this sewing machine that was my oldest son earlier if you heard him <laughs> It's too big. Am I still recording? Yeah. Hopefully it'll continue to record. So you know they came out that um the um, county supervisors had unanimously um on Friday uh, announced that you don't have, it's not an, uh, uh, um, necessary to uh, wear facial mask if you're out in public. It was optional. They do highly recommend it, but it wasn't mandatory. And my daughter just told me to, which I was kind of upset because uh, why are they saying that when they, in our county, uh, Riverside County, they got 245 new cases, which it didn't make any sense, you know, you know, not to, not mandatory not to wear a mask. So apparently they rescinded the, uh, that. So we're back on wearing, which I'm happy because um, a lot of the cities here in the valley, uh, like Pond Springs, um, they were, the city, Upon Springs was still going to have all their residents uh, wear a mask and I think other cities in the desert which I was very relieved happy about that because I mean we're not free of the virus there's still people getting it and obviously 245 cases it's nothing to To worry about it sure is you know i don't know what they were thinking to to be i don't know i think they were being pressured by the people i guess that want to go back to work you know and i understand they got bills to pay however if they catch it and they get sick and they die have they thought about hey well then you're gonna leave your children without um the parents and then you're certainly not gonna be working so, um, 
you know, I know it, it's hard, but there's some of us that we don't want to catch it, especially um, us older people. I mean, I don't, I'm not yet in that category, but you know, you know I'll, I do have pre-existing condition, you know, because of my uh, kidney cancer and I still continue to have kidney stones. Um, so, and then my daughter had thyroid cancer and she's diabetic and so is her husband. So they're, they're working out at home. Um, and me, I, I take care of my mother. So we make sure we wear our mask. And then she lives in a senior apartments and the other day I saw a gentleman and he wasn't wearing a mask and I said hey you need to wear your mask nah hello yes you do I go it, this is a public place no, he says no it isn't it is because there's a lot of seniors that live here and you need to be you know concerned about their health you may not have it, or you may not think you have it, but what if you do and you don't have the symptoms? And because um, um, I guess disabil people that are dis on disability or seniors can live in that complex. And he's not a senior, he's like maybe in his early 40s, but he is disabled. Um, so he lives there, he's allowed to live there, however. There's the majority there, like 98% are seniors. So I said, you know, you need, you need to be uh, careful about it and, you know, be conscientious about it. Don't just think that I know you're, because you're younger, you're not going to get it. So then... Later on, I saw him, and he was wearing his mask. Thank God. You know, we need to be respectful of others. So, okay, guys, I still don't know how, what, how I'm going to decorate this. I'm just, this is how I work. something blue here it's a peacock which is something I want to I told my sister I want to make me a, a, a peak make a peacock theme junk journal okay I have some ephemera here that I um, distressed I don't know what I'm going to do. Looking to see what else. It's a measuring tape. We'll see. This is what I do. You ask to turn on the camera whenever I decide to craft. So, this is what I'm doing. I don't like long videos. So, I hope you do, because this is turning out to be, we are at 39 minutes, oh my goodness, I'm a slow boat, okay? Okay, I have, I have some vintage lace here that my aunt gave me. And I love lace. So, I 
I think I'm going to put some of this lace here. I'm going to keep it simple. Or I have this one here. My aunt gave me this as well. When we were, um, when I went to go visit my sister in, in Texas, in San Antonio, Texas, we stay there. We extended our time there because my aunt's birthday is January 31st. So we stay there so we can celebrate her birthday. We take the train there. Yeah, it takes a long time to get there. Okay, I want blue, so... That's not straight. I know this is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Then I'll trim it off. I'll use fabric tech. Hope I'm staying in frame, guys. Sorry if I'm not. Oops, I forgot to cover my ink pad. there's any odd, odd uh, string sticking out in my frame hope I am and then I think I'll use some of this vintage um, lace here. Set for a bit. Excess here. Okay, that 
sounds okay. Um, clean the excess there. I don't know if I use this on my other. I need a smaller one. We'll use this one here. Okay. Now, let's see. This is going to be the front. What do I want? What do I want? <laughs> I think I still need to cut this off. It's a little too big. Could be a tuck spot right there, a pocket. Oops, sorry, I'm off camera. That's my cockatiel in the background. I don't think I'm going to use that flower. This is too wide. I 
think I like it on top. And then put a card there. And then my sewing machine. But I want to cut this off. Because it's a charm. Am I recording? Yes. Okay. I think that's what I'll do. I don't want to overthink it because then I get very, very undecisive. Okay. Get some of these out of the way. And if you want to know these, um, these are from my print master clip art that I that I purchased from their different kits. Um, also, um, they have um, like a monthly kit that they hand out, and they're very generous with their kits. They give you a lot. I think I like this on top. Okay, I'll let that stay there and set. Oops, I think I put too much glue there. Okay, this one is going to be a tuck spot, so I'm not going to do three sides. It's not going to be a pocket. You know what? I don't think I want a corner there. I want to run it off. Maybe I'll put a little bit of lace. Hope it hasn't set in yet. the lace to hang over a little bit. Yeah, like so. Sorry if I keep getting out of camera, out of frame. Then I want the the little sewing machines tucked somewhere there in an angle, like so. Uh, I don't think I have any cheesecloth with me here. 
I use some of this um, lace in lieu of the cheesecloth and just cut a piece. thinking of putting it on this side. A tag right there. Okay, that's for the outside. This is for the inside. And we still have, I don't know what to put there. You know that corner that we trimmed off? I think I am going to use it as a corner tuck spot there. can put that there or should I use this I think I'll just use this don't want to overthink it Make sure I don't glue anything past the um, the fold there, because then I'm gonna have problems. Do I want this other one instead? Yeah, I'll do it like this.
told you. I changed my mind on things. I haven't pressed it all the way down, so I still have a little bit of um, leeway. Oh, sorry, guys. You still with me? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hope I didn't get you all dizzy there. Use this. wonder if you guys are saying no but you know what I'm not gonna overthink it I'm gonna just leave it like that and then we have a tuck spot right there and on this one I think I'm just going to let me see. Well, let me show you on. This is not important. Okay, we took care of that. Now let's do this. And I brought some needles with me. Where did I put them? Oh, you guys have a mess. I know. Oh, here they are. Sorry, I'm a slow crafter. I'm those kind that I, I'll I'll do something, look back, and then um, sometimes I do overthink it. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use blue. I did bring white, but my mind was in blue. It's not the same blue, so I'll just use white. Fine, lose the needle there. Uh. Sorry, guys. Having a hard time picking it up with these nails. I think I'm gonna have to keep cut my thumbnails. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Why doesn't want to thread? Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Forget about the needle. Okay. I remember I did this last time. Let's show you guys. Get my pick. Oops, did I cut this too big? Sure did. 
be right back I'm gonna cut it I'm back okay this is what I did it's three and a half and then I trim off so I can even the uh, the bottom my goodness it's not okay trim some more sorry okay this is what I did last time You get your needle threader and stick it in there, like so, and then put your string to there, and then we do the other side. my little tip for you guys use your uh, needle threader for that and then you know a lot of times we always say oh we need um, a third finger to hold that so this is what I do I'll just place a small drop of glue there sorry about that again I know, Jennifer, you're probably going to be saying, why do you keep saying I'm sorry? Let that sit. Okay, let it sit for a little bit. And it stays put. And then you can tie your string. And you don't need a third finger. Ta-da! Okay. So... Okay, this is what we have. Okay, it folds and it folds. Okay, I didn't have any problem before, now I am. Of course, because we're on camera. Okay, so like this and like this. I haven't decided for the tie yet, but since it's a long video, that's it. And I hope you guys got the gist of it or how I made this. My uh, fold out um, pocket folder. So, sorry guys and thanks for those that uh, stuck around till the end. Okay, you guys continue to have a wonderful day, Mother's Day, and yeah, that's it. So, and then you can put a closure of any kind you want, like on this one I put um, a button and a little string there, or you can put, um, you know, tie and make a bow on the bottom. Okay, that's it guys, thank you, take care, bye. Till next time.